welcome back to Severna, our small socialist island in the middle of the North Sea, where railways do the heavy lifting, both for goods and for people. Today, we're taking a deep dive into Severna's railways and distribution system, the backbone of our 300,000 strong population. First up, we've just launched a brand new train route connecting Westport to the thriving district of Santana's. This train, pulled by a seven and built CHS two electric locomotive with sleek West German passenger carriages, is capable of transporting up to 600 passengers at once, providing a steady stream of workers for the electronics and aircraft factories in Santana's. If you're a train enthusiast and recognize these passenger carriages, let me know in the comments below. Always fun to see who's up to speed on their rail knowledge. Now, let's take a look at the route itself. Here we've got the station at Westport, connecting directly to Santana's, where factories produce some of Severna's most valuable goods. The train ride between the two districts is not just a scenic journey, but a critical component in keeping Severna's economy moving. Now let's ride the train from the depot. Severna's rail system offers more than just passenger transport. It's designed for high efficiency, meaning we can avoid the road traffic headaches that often plague larger cities. And trust me, if you've played Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, you know how demanding road vehicles can be on your CPU. That's why we keep things on track, literally. Speaking of efficiency, let's talk about Severna's rail distribution network. We've got four main rail distribution depots. Depots one and two handle most of the distribution for Southern Severna, while depots three and four keep the northern half of the island well stocked. Each depot is strategically placed to ensure that goods get where they need to go, on time and without traffic congestion. In addition to these, we also have several smaller depots that handle specific resources, steel, mechanical parts, and more. This decentralized rail network is key to managing a large population without sacrificing performance. Road traffic, barely a problem. I want to introduce you to one of my favorite mods, the storage warehouse. This warehouse is perfect for residential districts because it can store meat, food, clothes, and electronics all in one place. It's also got a rail connection, which makes distribution super easy. I usually place these warehouses at the center of my residential areas, then surround them with supermarkets so citizens can easily access whatever they need. Efficient distribution of goods without clogging up the road. It's a high efficiency system that keeps our citizens happy and well fed while minimizing transport stress. And that's how Severna manages its railways and distribution network. By keeping most of our transport on rails, we're able to support a growing population of over 300,000 citizens while maintaining top tier performance. Plus, we've got new routes like Westport to Santana that are helping us keep up with our expanding economy. Thanks for watching. What do you think of Severna's rail system? Do you use similar setups in workers and resources? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates from Severna.